Hello everyone! So today for the concert, um, the and the people who are coming in this spot, um, it was, it was pretty, it was, it was better than I thought it would be. And then after that, we went to an arcade, and I love arcades so much. It's been a while since I went to one. We played a lot of games, took a lot of pictures, there's a lot of like anime um games, but that was really cool. And I played like this Batman driving game, you know, where you sit and you actually play it and it's like actually driving but you're not. So cool. And also it's really like really nostalgic because um one like drumming game, like hyper game. I do not know if I still have that anymore. Like I remember playing it back. 15 years old, and it was at the first show and I'm like, oh, so nostalgic, that's so cool, they still made it. So of course I had to like, um, kind of log that before maybe they took it away again, I don't know. And it was all cool because it was at night, and yeah, it was a really popular group, like a lot of people were there, a lot of people had this, um, cute outfits on too. I can't, I can't wait to go back again. Okay. Yeah, this is, um, I got a few of I really like to the party, and, um, even my friend's friends liked it, and they thought this is, like, um, good quality looking glitter, and I'm surprised when I told them it was like mild. So, that's a really good... For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam. And I think they discontinued this, but I found this at the 99 cent store not too long ago. And it feels like really fluffy and really cool. And it's really light feeling. And the shade is called Porcelain Ivory, I think. So yeah, and the coverage is really buildable. So here I'm just putting a little bit more on. And then to keep the airbrush effect of the foundation, use translucent powder, but I ran out of mine, so I can not really exactly show that. So this is the tape I pretty much always use for my eyelids, keep the eyeshadow sharp looking, and I got it at a Vietnamese store a while back. And then for the eyeshadow part, I'm using the e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer, and this primer is nice and soft for the eyeshadow I'm about to use. So the eyeshadow I'm using is called Style Styly or something like that, and I got it from Wet Seal. I'm using this loose pigmented eyeshadow on my eyelid, and it's really shimmery and bronzy, but at first it's a little hard to um, blend in first, and also be careful using it can get a little messy. And then I'm blending it a tiny bit with an eyeshadow brush, especially um, in like towards the crease area. And then for the crease area, I'm using a Hello Kitty eyeshadow in the shade Champagne Rose. This color gives really nice definition to the crease, and I'm just blending it with my finger. So then I'm just using this pen eyeliner by Elf, and um, be careful using these eyeliner because sometimes it doesn't work. Like sometimes it dries out too quickly. But for some reason today, it was working, so yeah, it looks whatever it feels like. But yeah, I'm just doing a tiny, just a tiny wing. For the glitter, I'm switching to the e.l.f. glitter primer. Seriously, this primer is so good and sticky. Here's the Wet n Wild glitter, also I found this at the 99 And it's in the shade Pink Sugar. So I'm putting this party in a jar <laughs> on the bottom of my eye and kind of towards the inner corner but not too close. Benefits the real mascara is 
a must for any party. And then, you know, just put on some Benefit High Beam. I also put it on my Cupid bow, but I forgot to show it in this video. <laughs> And then I'm putting this wet and wild color icon lip liner on my lips, but the purpose is not to like um, overdraw them. But if you put this on, it'll make the lip gloss last a bit longer. And then for lips, I'm using the next color gloss in the shade Double Food Cake and it even kind of smells like Double Food Cake too. Yeah, I think this is a really cool color. And I usually put two coats of this on 